Welcome back to the channel for episode 19 of Enfield of Dreams and here we begin our journey in the Football League. We promoted last season from the Vanarama National League in what I would probably say is the closest league season we've ever, ever had. Not just as Enfield manager, but in football manager in general. So, uh, Friday? Was it Friday? No idea. I'm recording this quite far um, from uh, releasing it. So, from Friday... The, the last video of 2021, I think it probably would have been. So, Happy New Year, by the way, if you're watching this as it comes out. It is a few days before Christmas as I'm recording this. So, hopefully you had a nice one. So, if you didn't watch the transfer special that was out in the previous episode, no I did when. But, um, this is pretty much what we did. A load of free transfers, two loans at the end as well. And we let three players go out on loan as well. And that is pretty much it. The only bad side was that we lost Eddie Carrington to Plymouth. And I'm pretty gutted, to be honest, because he was an incredible player for us. And he pretty much just jumped at the um, first first opportunity, really, which I'm a little, I'm really disappointed with, to be perfectly honest. But if we, um, if we ever get a chance to uh, either, you know, get revenge on him or maybe have him back... Uh, then yeah, I think we'll probably take it. I mean, don't get me wrong, the players that we've brought in are pretty good. I am satisfied with the signings we've made. If we go through I'll go through them. Backup goalkeeper in OV Ida Harry. Might have botched that. Tom Clayton, free transfer from Liverpool, can play across the back line and in defensive midfield. This guy looks to be a pretty good acquisition. Charlie Wiggett from Newcastle, free transfer again. Bags of potential on this chap. Keon Etete, a striker, I'm going to be, hopefully, we're going to be better in the striker department this year. It's not the only striker we've signed, as you would have might have already seen. But yes, really pleased with this guy. He, I don't think he'll be taking penalties anytime soon. But um, finishing a 10, first touch of 12, heading of 14. Not bad at all. Most of them are in the uh, low double digits or high single digits. So, not bad. Not bad. Uh, Samuel Ling is a winger, mainly on the left-hand side. Uh, so, um, we, I think we've certainly upgraded the wingers department. Obviously, it would have been good if we could have got Nathan Young Coombs back in. Unfortunately not. For the right-hand side, we've got another Sam, Samuel Farlin, um, on the right-hand side. Not too bad stats, so hopefully he will come in and do the business for us. An actual right-back in uh, Tivangi uh, Rishida. Um, again, I might have botched that. I do apologise. Uh, but most of these contracts are only for one season anyway. And then two loan signings, mainly for midfield. Uh, this guy can play uh, central midfield, can also play in defensive midfield as well. On loan from Reading for the season, as is Bobby Clark. On loan from Liverpool, he can play the, uh, you know, variety of different positions. So um, we might not be keeping to Liverpool's um, <laughs> agreement and playing him in central midfield. But I guess we will see. But those players both start on the bench. So let's get into today's opening game against Mansfield. And then we are going to be playing against Swindon in the in our very first Carabao Cup game. Swindon are in League One. So two tough games coming up. If we have a look at our season predictions, uh, we did start rock bottom in the season preview. But now we are predicted 14th, which I guess is not too bad. I did say I'm not expect we're not expecting to walk the league, and I'm pretty sure that's exactly what's going to happen. Not going to we're not going to walk the league. I know that, and uh, we've just got to try and hold on to our better players. You can see our entire back four is all wanted, so uh, I guess we'll see what comes of that. Uh, this guy, um, he won't be going. Huckenall, I doubt it, but you know we could probably get better options there. Addy Pan as well, wanted on loan, and McCorrigan. He's wanted by Bristol Rovers. But um, Shipley is out with an injury, which obviously sucks. So he's going to be missing the opening few games. And Kian Pennant is also out for a while as well. He, um, I think he's been injured for the majority of the, se the um, summer. Did he come down with this injury? When I could swear he was out for a long time. Someone was out for the summer. It might have been... 
Perk it might have been Perkins that was out for the summer. Yeah. No. No. Someone was definitely out for the summer. I honestly can't remember who, but there we go. But let's get into this opening game at home to Mansfield. Um, you have to admit, I think this is probably one of those games. I mean, I didn't even see where Mansfield are predicted to finish. So I'm hoping this is one of those where we can go on to win this. Now, I have uh, changed a few bits in the in the tactic. Obviously, um, Kerr wants to be a ball-winning midfielder on defence, playing in uh, defensive midfield. So we've uh, put Kennedy on the box-to-box -box midfielder instruction, and Onan um, remains on the Mazala role. Florlin, I mean, we're going to have two wingers for the first time. So we'll see how we get on. I mean... It's like I said, I mean, I'm not expecting to make the playoffs with this current squad. You can see we've got a lot of spare wage budget, which is why I'm going to be doing another episode very, very soon because of deadline day. Obviously, deadline day implies when you get uh, to League 2. So, end of August, you can bet your bottom dollar we are going to be making a few transfers and hopefully good ones. You know, I still feel a bit weak in certain areas. But I guess we'll just have to see how we get on. You can already see Forest Green absolutely thumped Port Vale in the opening game. Uh, we have a corner here through Jaden Onan. He's whipped it in. And it's a goal from Keon Atete. Look at that. A goal eight minutes into his professional debut for the club. And that is already wages well spent because he was a free transfer, of course. Atete. Rising above two Mansfield defenders there to pop us 1-0 up. Nicely done. That is what I like to see. You can see Forest Green and Fleetwood probably be in the two front runners in this league. So um, we'll definitely have to show you games against them. Uh, you've got, a, I mean, probably a game against uh, Hartlepool as well. Alright, Addy Pan with the clearance to Onan. Back to Hockenall to Rashida. Rashida, Rashesha, I literally do not know, coming, bombing down this right hand side, what can he do, he gets a cross in, through Iling, heads it across, Itete has scored again, look at that, 2-0, come on, Itete, you absolute beauty, come on, that is very, very nice, I, oh, beautiful, 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 right, it's both Burke now for Mansfield. Awesome puts it over the top. Gordon is unmarked. And Mansfield have a goal back through Junior Mondal. And it is 2-1. And we immediately start with a highlight from the centre. Right straight from kickoff, I should say. Kennedy now. Puts it through to Onan, who has got a bit of space. Can he get a shot off? He can. And it's been kept in by the defender. And O'Driscoll makes a clearance, but it is intercepted there. But um, the highlight comes to no avail. You can see uh, Wrexham actually did survive relegation. Uh, we would have seen that uh, in the not previous episode, the one before that. They were two uh, two points from... Tete. Oh, and he's hit the bar from that free kick. Oh, my God. He is proven to be an absolute awesome acquisition already. Scoring two goals in the first half and hitting the bar with that free kick. I think we've got a gem on our hands here, ladies and gents. Um, satisfied with this at half-time. Any kind of win is really good, I would say. Especially uh, opening game of the season. Rashida with a cross in. Etete's gone down. Etete has gone down. Oh, God. What do we do here? Because we know what his penalties are like. It's a, it, He's got a rating of one. But he's on for a hat-trick. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? He's literally the worst penalty taker on the pitch. I think I think we've got to risk it. I think we've got to risk it. Itete is going to take this penalty. And he scores. Come on. Get in there. Itete with a hat-trick on his debut for the club. Come on. That was a bit of a risk. I must admit that. Because normally with some of these stats, I don't pay attention to them. But... When you've got a penalty taken a one, you have to take notice of that. Follow him with it. Oh, that was a lovely free kick from Atete as well. Straight from the free kick. Hockenall heads it on to Florlin now. Goes back to Rashheda. 
Hockenall goes to Adipan. Goes back to Masni in goal. Hockenall to Kerr. Kennedy. Kennedy puts it over the top for Jaden Onan. He's got a Tete with him. Jaden Onan goes it himself and he scores. It is 4 1, and we are absolutely dominating Mansfield here. 4 1 on the opening day of the season. That is absolutely beautiful, and I completely agree. Gene Kennedy played a beautiful ball there to Onan. You didn't know if he was going to square it to a Tete. He, go, he dummies the keeper almost, and he makes it 4 1, and this is absolutely beautiful. Morecambe are getting boned as well. As things stand, we're top of the league. How awesome is that? Huckenall with the interception there. Onan back to Huckenall. Huckenall puts it over the top. Etete heads it on, but uh, keeper picks up the loose ball. Huckenall with the header to Florilin now. Puts it over the top for Etete. What can he do from here? Goes back to Kennedy. Goes to Corrigan now. And he's tackled, but he still keeps hold of the ball. Corrigan coming forward. Goes back to Kerr. Gives it to Onan. To Florilin. Oh, what a beautiful... Oh, that's not going to count, is it? Normally, when ah, oh, I've noticed that normally when it says goal there, does it when it doesn't save like first goal or second goal or fifteenth goal of the season? Normally it doesn't count, but Florlin's hit that beautifully to make it five one, and I'm absolutely shocked by this. This is awesome. Right, I think it is time to make a change or two now. I think uh, we give um, we give a Tete a standing ovation, and he comes off. For um, Will Grigg, who hopefully will be on fire. Bobby Clark, uh, best on the left-hand side. So, um, oh, let's do that, I think. We'll bring him on for Ealing. Uh, we need to swap him to a inverted winger role, so that is cool. And I think we'll leave it there for now. Or do it now. Nah, I'll tell you what, we'll just bring Clayton on for Addy Pan. And we will go on. We'll see if we can maybe score another goal or two. That would be fantastic. But um, I'm not really that bothered if we do or not. Um, looks like a uh, opportunity here for Mansfield from a free kick through Maris, who hits it. And it's only just over. That was not a badly struck free kick. And I think we are going to praise because that's not something I do very often. And that was beautiful. 5-1, opening game of the season. Cannot complain with that at all. Etete, absolutely fantastic performance. Overall, absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Accidentally uh, minimised the uh, game there. So hopefully I remember to edit that out of the video. But um, what a start. Absolutely fantastic start. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Cannot complain with that at all. And we sit on top of the league. Even better. Taylor's disappointed. Tete scores spectacular hat trick. I mean, could not, could not, um, could not ask for more than that. I mean, he's already. I mean, what? I mean, what did Insal and Bingham score between them last season? It wasn't much. It was probably single digits between them, and that, that's bad. That is bad. I think. Insal scored six, Bingham maybe four, or maybe three or four, I can't remember. But, you know, it was definitely not more than 15, I know that for sure. But what a start, that was absolutely fantastic. And we are going to be playing Swindon, of course, in the, this episode. So, um, strap yourselves in for that game as well, because that will be here in three, two, one. I think there's much point changing any part of the team in uh, this game against Swindon, so that's exactly what we are doing. We're going exactly with the same 11, even the same bench. Uh, not made any sign-ins, but um, as you can see, I've got trialists in again. Um, I have offered contracts to a couple of them. They will come in and fill a few gaps, but ultimately, I don't think I'm going to sign many more players that don't improve the squad, so that's why we've got to have a look out at deadline day. So let's get into this game. I'm really looking forward to it. Apologies for the little um, interruption there. Um, I just remembered I needed to swap my budgets back from scouting budget to transfer budget because uh, that's why I've managed to get the, some of those trialists in because of that. I mean, 
I guess we'll have to see what comes of it. I mean, there's one player that does excite me, but um, ultimately, I don't think he'll improve as much anyway. So, I guess we'll just have to see. But, game against Swindon here, we've got just over 2,000 attendance, which is not too bad, I guess. Adi Japan now. Rashida to Flarlin. Can we get a Tete on the score sheet again today? Uh, I think if we get a penalty at any point and a Tete is not on two goals and we're cruising, then um, we can't give it to him. <laughs> we can't take the risk. Kennedy. Swap it over to Onan, who's got bags of space here. And Jaden Onan just drags out wide. But I'm already seeing a rejuvenated Jaden Onan. And that is looking much, much more like the Jaden Onan we know and love. Um, Etete with a lackluster free kick there, it has to be said. Kennedy gives it to Onan. Slides it across to Etete, back to Rashida. To Hockenall. Onan gives it to Etete. Back to Hockenall. What can he do with the ball now? He puts it over the top. Jaden Onan out on this right-hand side. What can he do? He gets a ball in. It's intercepted. Hume with the clearance. Don't worry, not that one. Kennedy. Kennedy gives it to Atete. Oh, and a key on Atete. You scored again. Come on. Beautiful, beautiful finish from a beautiful, beautiful man. And he's already got four goals for the season. Come on. I think we have our striker now, ladies and gents. Probably not our permanent one, because remember, we are in League 2. Oh, Shedder. Oh, it does really well to hold on to the ball there. And he's got the ball again. Flarlin. Back to Rashida now. Brings the ball partially forward. Gives it to Kennedy. Oh, he cuts it into Onan. Oh, and he scores a beautiful goal. It is 2-0 after just 12 minutes. And we are already cruising in this game. Enfield Town 2, Swindon 0. Beautiful play. Rashida does really well there. Kennedy, a lovely ball there to Jaden Onan, takes a touch, hits it, and hits the bar. Oh, beautiful finish. Beautiful. And wouldn't it be nice if we could get a really nice away game in the next round? Should we go through? Because don't forget, it is us, and we have conceded. You know? I mean, I, little, I literally just... Jinxed us then, didn't I? Thinking, oh yeah, we're 2-0 up, we're cruising. Then we concede. Yeah, that, it tends to happen a lot, doesn't it? That does. I mean, it's the story of the save so far, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. But, we get into half-time. Don't jinx it again. Yeah, we have got to half-time this time. 2-1 at half-time. I mean, I, I guess we've got to be really happy with that. Because we're 2-1 up against... League 1 opposition, don't forget. And uh, let's see if we can hold on to it. I think we're playing fairly well so far. Um, I'm satisfied with this performance, absolutely. Atete's got a goal, Onan's got a goal. What more could you want? What more could you want, eh? But our first highlight of the second half comes in the 66th minute. Iling heads it on, but it is thankfully intercepted now by Hockenall. Atete back to care. Onan now. Oh, beautiful ball to Ling. Oh, and look at that. That's not going to count. Why is that not going to count? Why is that not going to count? Oh, you bugger. I did say when it says goal at the bottom, it won't count. And unfortunately, it was the case this time. Right, Clayton is going to come on for Adipan. We're gonna we're gonna have to keep a Tete on. Grig. How oh, care I mean let's put care for Kennedy. And then we're gonna take Kennedy off and we're gonna bring Grig on. I'm gonna see I mean maybe we changed the tactic a little bit. Oh, this is gonna come back and bite me in the bottom, isn't it? This is what I did in that game against Yeovil last season and we got absolutely destroyed. Right, Mastney. Clayton, Huckenall, Atete, our oh, beautiful play. I thought as soon as um, he hit that forward, we were going to lose it. Tete brings it to Onan now. Onan holding up play, puts it out to Ling. 
Ling on this left hand side, what can he do? He holds up the ball, players get in position. Ling does well, gives it to Care, gives it to Grig. Oh! Now that would have been a lovely goal, if a lovely bit of uh, awesomeness if he uh, managed to score there. So Sterling, not that one. Etete now, bringing the ball forward. He's waiting for players to get back with him. It's now Grig. Grig gives it to Onan. Oh, he does really well to get past his man there. Jaden Onan on this right-hand side. Crosses in. Ling with the header. And it's just over. It did look like the keeper got a hand to that, but... There we go. Swindon. Swindon have a corner. Williams. Oh, no. And we have conceded. It's 2-2. Swindon are back on level terms. And I think you'll probably agree that they don't really deserve that because we have definitely been the better team in this game. Oh, well, then saying that, I mean... And now Ling's injured. Oh, this has just gone from bad to flaming worse. Ah, oh, I, I, I don't know what to do. I mean, can we even... Can we even make another sub? We can't. I mean, Griggs going to have to go out on the left-hand side for the last few minutes. And Swindon, it looks like, have a free kick here. It's Reed that's going to take it. And he scored. Wow. Oh, I really did. Um, I really did jinx it, didn't I? I mean, that is a very well-struck free kick. And unfortunately, the fairy tale did not last very long, did it? Let's just hope Ling's not out for a long time. Uh, I, won't, I won't be too mad with them. I mean, we did blow a 2-0 lead. But... Uh... Yeah, that was um, that was not nice. And Ling's out for uh, up to two months. That is uh, just not what we wanted. So signing a winger is something we desperately have to do now. I mean, Bobby Clark can play there for a bit, but um, Liverpool are going to get frustrated with me not playing him in correct position, or the position they want me to play in him in. Uh, Stanley's probably not cut up for it, so we are definitely going to need another winger. But, we will be doing that in the next ep in the next episode, where we're not going to be playing the Morecambe game on camera. We are just going to come back and do North Northampton game, and we're going to go through deadline day. So, hopefully, we can get in some really good sign-ins and uh, push it on, and hopefully have a good season yeah, I mean, we're at the Cowbell Cup, first of all, which sucks. We have gained a place in the table, which is nice. And funny enough, we're actually playing Morecambe in our next game, aren't we? So, um, there we go. But thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure you drop a like. Please do subscribe if you happen to be new to the channel. And I will see you again very, very soon. You guys take care. Like I've already said, Happy New Year to you. And hopefully, 2022 is a good one. I will see you soon. Ciao for now. Parker does.